Enjoy some luck. of Broadcasting on the Beach with Halftime Howie from Pancho's Cantina in Island Park. And we love covering inspirational, great stories. And this is another great story about a family right here in Island Park where we broadcast. So it's an awesome story. There's a great show, George to the Rescue. It's broadcast every Sunday morning on, ABC, on NBC at 1030 with uh, George Oliphant. And this episode which is going to air on November 4th. Right. Um, our friends to the right and left were very much involved in this, uh, this great rescue story. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Rose Art. And Rose, why don't we tell the people out there the story, how you and your husband uh, Frank got involved, how Bonnie got involved, and what it was like working with this uh, terrific Byrne family right here in Island Park. Well, Frank and I have done George the Rescue before. We've done four of them. And when he mentioned to Frank that he would be working with somebody in Island Park, it, it hit us at home because that's where we first bought our house. We had our children there. And when we met JJ and we heard his story, we had to do it. Um, you want to tell him a little bit about it, Frank? Uh, so George, reach, uh, one of the producers, reached out to us, and you know, because we're from Island Park, we, like Rose said, we uh, bought our first house and raised our kids there. Uh, and the more we would talk to, talked about it, we found out that he's a special assistant to the mayor, which I happen to know personally, and he was very involved in the church, which we're very involved in in Island Park. We rebuilt the church and a lot of the, you know, uh, the village hall after the storm. Uh, and it just, the more and more we talked about it, the more people we found out that were involved with this family. And I don't know them personally, you know, until we had rescued them, but everybody knew them. Everybody spoke so highly of them. So we were so happy to do this for them. And we're talking about J.J. Byrne. Let's talk about him. He's 16 years old. He's got cystic fibrosis. And he is such an inspirational story. Tell us why. He's amazing. He reminds me of Michael J. Fox from Family Ties. The first time we went to his house, he had a pillow of Ronald Reagan on his bed. He believes in the United States. He's political. He, he loves Island Park. He's a, a real community guy. He wants to help everyone. He has his own team for cystic fibrosis called Team Shenanigans, where he actually raises money for cystic fibrosis. He is a lectern at the church. He is the special assistant to the mayor. This kid, his resume is unbelievable, and he's got such a heart. And they really did need help. You know, their appliances weren't working in the kitchen. They had a hole in the ceiling with mold. He has cystic fibrosis, which is a lung disease. So, you know, it made us feel really good to be able to help him um, and help his family. His mom is on the Board of Education. These are community people. So us being able to go in and help them it was amazing, you know. They do so much for everyone else, and this time we were able to do for them. That's that's awesome. And uh, like I mentioned before the show, uh, JJ is going to be on our show next week with his family. And right away, since we are in Island Park, we broadcast every Sunday right here at Ponchos. I want to give this kid a weekly role because I think he is going to inspire hundreds of people. And the, from the sound of it, he's got to have a role in our show. And I think he's going to touch thousands of people. Well, he touched us just from the moment we met him. We fell in love with this this kid. He's amazing. Now, Bonnie, how'd you get involved uh, with this great story and what's your role in this story of, of George of the Rescue? Well, um, Rose reached out to me after her and Frank were already committed to the project and said, would you help us on this George to the Rescue project here in Island Park? And I said, of course I would. And Rose and I met about seven years ago and we work really well together and it's a pleasure for me to work with uh, great people like Rose and like Frank and I knew it was going to be a really good project and uh, she explained to me that the family's laundry room which is right adjacent to the kitchen was in desperate need of a rescue as well so I went down met with the mom Tara 
uh, saw the condition, um, was really happy to be able to help them out. So I uh, am very grateful for uh, the opportunity and because, you know, I, I, I do have so much in a thriving business, so it was a pleasure to, you know, be a part of this, be a part of something positive. And uh, I know George as well from George to the Rescue, and of course I wanted to help him out as well. That is awesome. And uh, let's talk about, Rose, exactly what uh, you and Frank have done for the Byrne family. We, uh, JJ does a lot of fundraising, like I had mentioned, and in the front foyer of their house, that's what he considered his office. So he had boxes everywhere, you know, it, it was a mess. So we organized it, we made custom furniture for him, we made spaces that he's able to put all of his t-shirts and sweatshirts that he uses for fundraising. We made it a command central for him so that he can, we could see him eventually becoming the president. That's how much we believe in this kid. So we, we, we made him a beautiful front foyer. And we had to be careful because it's the, it's the front of the house. So even though we use it as an office, we wanted to make it that when you're walking into it, it's beautiful and, and it makes sense. Then we did the kitchen, we redid the kitchen. Their appliances weren't working, their cabinetry, they had terrible storage. Um, we gutted the kitchen and we, we gave him a new kitchen with new appliances and new cabinetry and backsplash and opened up a wall. Frank took down a wall so we gave them more space. And then the beautiful laundry room. You know, all of this is making their lives better and, and especially Tara, the mom, you know, she does so much for so many people and this will make her life easier having all of these things in place and the organization and storage and uh, frank talk about from your perspective what you did and your role in uh, making a difference in the, for the burn family so when we first got there we saw that there was a leak in the ceiling in the kitchen and mold and dust and these kind of issues are not good for a kid that has cystic fibrosis so that was we gutted everything down to the raw beginning of the house um, you know re-insulated re, re rock rewired new plumbing and the, the thing about this was, was the local community um, anytime I reach out to my tile guy my appliance guy anybody that I reached out to were all so willing to help no question they were right there with the donations appliances and countertops and cabinets and you know my family and uh, electrician and plumber everybody was just so willing to help out which was a great thing everybody just wanted to give back a little and um, some people were even a little camera shy. They just wanted to go and do whatever they mm -hmm. could just to help out and not necessarily just selfless. Yeah. Just to make, make sure that everything was taken care of for this family because they are such a part of Island Park. Like this kid JJ, what he'll do is he'll organize the kids in the town to go and clean, that, clean up the beach on the weekends. Or um, I talked to a lot of the neighbors who are my clients and they said at the end they was coming over and they wanted to see what it looked like. And they were saying how a lot of people on the block don't use their fireplace anymore because it was actually had a hard time breathing. And believe it or not, the emissions from these fireplaces in the, on the block, uh, nobody uses them anymore. So because JJ. of JJ, yeah, For because JJ. of JJ, because yeah. his breathing issues. So mm -hmm. everybody is really uh, a really tight community. He's like I said, involved in the church, involved in the politics, and everybody knows the family. And, and to me, this sounds like such an extension of the positive aspect of Hurricane Sandy. Because as devastating and as horrible as Hurricane Sandy was, to me the positive aspect was families helping families, neighbors helping neighbors, total strangers spending hours um, helping the elderly, helping children, um, and communities banded together, especially that were devastated on the South Shore like Island Park, Atlantic Beach, Oceanside, um, Island Park, to, to help each other. And, and to me, this is what the Byrne family is about, is that you know, um, people like that gave of themselves um, after Hurricane Sandy in the weeks and months after the devastation of Hurricane Sandy. And, and then when it was time to help the Byrne family, so many people were there to help. And, and to me, that's, that's the spirit of what a, a wonderful community is all about. Agreed, yes, and this family is loved. Mm -hmm. You know, they really do a lot for the community, they're loved. And we're talking about, um, and, and to me, it's hard to believe, and he's gonna be on the show next week, um, J.J. Byrne is only 16 years old. Yeah. And you can tell already from the description, 
He's a leader. He inspires. And uh, he's got this group, Shenanigans. Talk about how you were inspired by J.J. Byrne. I can't even put into words how much he inspired me and how much I admire him and aspire to be like him. You know, to be 16 years old and do all of this at his age with his illness, he's remarkable. He's absolutely remarkable. It makes me want to be a better person. Is it safe to say you guys have been involved in several rescues, but this is the one that touched your heart more than ever, Frank? Well, yeah, because like I said, we're, we work predominantly in this area. Uh, and anytime we spoke to any, you know, anyone in the community that we're gonna do this rescue, oh, I know them, that Tara's my best friend, or you know, so many of the contractors or people in the, in the village knew them, or knew JJ, or knew this other son, um, some relationship with the father, and the local uh, parish he's so involved with. So any anytime we spoke of any, anybody in the family, they all knew him or knew all of them, and they were just so happy that they were being rescued. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, and I cannot wait to meet uh, the family next week. It's going to be great. And, and that's why we're so thrilled that we can. Uh, and I also want to thank Sharia uh, for contacting me because once you contact me, I said, let's get to it. But the fact we're now going to make it a two part show uh, the first part with you guys, and next week with the, Bur with the Byrne family. And from these two shows, we hope that it reaches a lot of people. We hope that on November 4th, thousands and millions of people will be watching. Great, that would be awesome. And, uh, this is a, it makes you feel good, a story like this. It makes you feel great. I mean, you know, we spend so much, so much of our time working on our businesses, thinking about our problems, and every once in a while when you have an opportunity uh, that presents itself to help other people um, and use your expertise for that matter, you know, doing it, I mean, what's better than that, right, Howie? I mean, it's, oh, it's the greatest what, feeling. That's why we love doing a community show, and again, Folks, to watch it, it's going to be George to the Rescue, Saturday morning, 10.30 on November 4th. And it's also going to be on later that night, right? I believe it's on at 7 that same night, yeah. yes, on NBC. And you guys will be featured in the show, right? I hope so. With the Byrne family. How cool is that? <laughs> that would be great, yes. All right, so uh, we're, we're, we hope that, you know, through the show we get a lot of viewers. And, uh, and we hope you guys keep in touch because I'm sure that this is not the end of the road for you guys and that there's going to be other rescues down the road where we can hear more inspirational stories. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Oh, my pleasure. Yes, thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. Yeah, thank you, Howie. We really appreciate it. All right, folks. So it's George the Rescue. Uh, this is part one. Make sure you tune in on our Halftime Howie Show page on Facebook, Halftime Howie on YouTube, part one. And next week, the Byrne family will be here. And you can meet JJ and Tara and the whole Byrne family. So it's a two-week uh, special. It's a great story. It's going to warm your heart. And I cannot wait to meet JJ Byrne next week. But we thank Frank Ott, Rose Ott, and, uh, and Bonnie Reese for their great work, for help making a great story happen. George to the rescue, right here in the beautiful city of Island Park, New York.